arithmetic progression the sum of four consecutive numbers in an ap is 32 and the ratio of the product of first and last term to the product of two middle terms is 7 is to 15 find the numbers the sum of four consecutive numbers in an ap is 32 and the ratio of product of first and last term to the product of two middle terms e 7 is to 15 we have to find those numbers that is the first term into last term to the two middle terms e is given by the ratio 7 is to 15 okay since the numbers are in ap take them as or uh, at first before taking it consider the numbers are four consecutive numbers in ap okay and their sum is given by 32 since the numbers are consecutive term we have to take in them as a particular way as in a particular way okay that is a minus 3d comma a minus d comma a plus d comma a plus 3d so we are taking those four numbers in this way why we are taking like this because when we add this numbers we can cancel all the d's and a will remain there after okay we have to find the value of a and d for finding the terms of ap so since their sum is 32 take a minus 3d plus a minus d plus a plus d plus a plus 3d equals to 32 now minus 3d and plus 3d will cancel each other minus d and plus d will cancel each other and we will get 4a equal to 32 which implies a equal to 32 by 4 which is equal to 8 now it is given that the product of first and last term and the product of two middle terms e 7 is to 50 we already find a now we it remains to find d for that take given a minus 3d into a plus 3d is to a minus d into a plus d equal to 7 is to 50 that is the product of first first and last term first term is a minus 3d and the last is a plus 3d is to the middle terms a minus d into a plus d equal to 7 is to 50 which implies by multiplying a square minus 9 d square is to a square minus d square equal to 7 is to 50 that is by multiplying we will get an equation like this now by taking a square minus 9 d square divided by a square minus d square equal to 7 by 50 since they are in the ratio 7 is to 15 we can take the terms like this now by cross multiplying we will get 
15 into 9 square minus d square equal to 7 into a square minus d square. Now uh, by simplifying 15 a square minus 135 d square equal to 7 a square minus 7 d square. Now by taking a square and d square uh, sorry now by taking a square to the left and d square to the right we will get 15 a square minus 7 a square equal to so, minus 7 d square plus 135 d square that is 7 a square is taken to the left side and minus 135 d square is taken to the right side. Now again by simplifying we could obtain that is Fifteen a square minus seven a square equals to minus seven d square plus the one thirty five d square, which implies eight a square equal to one twenty eight d square. Now, by providing the value of a, we will get eight into eight square equal to one twenty eight d square. Since a equal to 8. Now d square equal to 8 into 64 whole divided by 128 which is equal to 8 by 2 equal to 4. Implies d equal to plus or minus 2. That is we got our common difference d. Then now next we are going to form the ap. Okay. That is we have d equal to 2 and a equal to 8 and we are using this to form AP. And we know that the first term of AP is a minus 3d by providing the value a equal to 8 and d equal to 2 we will get 8 minus 6 equal to 2. And next by providing the value of 8 minus 2 we will get 6. 8 plus 2 yields 10. 8 plus 6 yields 14. Therefore, the numbers are 2, 6, 10 and 14.